I hope you guys all remember this. This is the Sukuyu remote that worked off of RF, not Bluetooth. Well, move over, Sukuyu. There's a new player in town, Adzerd. This is the page turner for e-reader. This is not Bluetooth. This is not the Bluetooth ring that we showed you guys a while back. This one, much like the Sukuyu lurking over here, is an RF receiver that allows you to turn pages on an e-reader using a ring. And we have to check this out right now. Thank you to Adzerd for sending us this sample. Look at that. Activate a lifetime warranty. You have to scan it within 15 days. Uh-oh. We've had this on the back burner for a while. What's in the box here? Well, we have a multi-function remote scrolling ring user guide. That's really cool. You know what? There's a lot of these little blue indicators in there. This is not Bluetooth. And, you know, when they sent it to us, I was like, oh, another Bluetooth page turner. It's not Bluetooth. This is using RF completely different well what's what is this oh okay hold the phones actually I've never seen this in my entire life oh look at that that is cool to split USB someone had twins because what this is is this allows you to not only charge the receiver but charge the Bluetooth ring at the same time time where does that charge right over there there we go so when you plug this in you can actually charge both of them at the same time instead of using two outlets because this doesn't require a whole lot of power that is everything in the box let's move that off to the side this will be an unboxing and review all in one of course you do have the little clip here that clips onto the e-reader we'll show you that in a sec and this is much like wireless headphones is going to be a little bit of a cradle for the RF ring. Also, this is how you charge this. You can't charge this as is. So if you lose your cradle, you'd have to rip apart a USB cable and touch the positive and the negative to these little copper pogo pins because there's no way to charge this elsewhere. You put it into there and this thing has a battery that you then charge up with that and anytime you want to charge this, you would put that in there like that. Then it would start charging. The lights would turn on. You see the indicator light at the bottom. Let's clean off this table a wee bit to make some space. Now, how do you do it? It's not that hard. All you do is you grab your Kindle, and we have a Kindle Paperwhite here. We're just going to open up a book and get this going. Does this block half the screen real estate? Actually, no. You don't put it that way. You put it so that this little contact patch right here on the bottom touches somewhere on the page flat. So it would go like that. It must be within the area that has capacitive touch so that you can swipe like that. Now you're asking, well, how do I turn the pages? Well, you can put your e-reader nicely down right over there, grab your ring. I'm going to put it on too. I'm going to put it on like you would kind of hold it. And then all you would do is turn pages. And yes, it works with the center button and back and front. It'll speed through the book. It'll speed back. And you can use that on anything. It doesn't just work on e-readers, it works on e-notes. So out goes the paperwhite and in comes the scribe. Now you might be wondering, why does it work on everything? I don't understand. Basically what it's doing is it is just simulating a touch of your fingertip in the form of an electric charge. So when you press the button, there's an electric charge that goes bzzz and it thinks you've pressed the page. It'll go bzzz and it'll think you press the page. It actually works on anything. If you were to put that on there, like so, and then touch that, it would just highlight that area because it's just simulating the touch. So here we go. We're going to go on the scribe and put it in the bottom right corner, not to interrupt anything we're doing. Put our scribe on the page. If I can go forward, I can go back. I can turn my pages as I see fit. You can go as fast as you want, as slow as you want, completely wireless. It is all RF. Furthermore, it works on smartphones. Yes, you can put this anywhere as long as you have a device that has a touch, that has a capacitive touch, this will work. It is pretty exemplary and actually, you know what? Quite a nice idea. It's mildly intrusive because you only have a little bit of the actual thing that shows. It's not all that much that gets in the way and the added benefit of that 
is it comes at no detriment because this thing is very cheap you don't have to synchronize it you don't have to log in and you don't have to keep bluetooth connected the whole time and they actually make it easy by allowing you to charge both at the same time anywhere any device the remarkable your phone your pc laptop anything that has a touch panel this thing will work this is an rf driven remote it is not bluetooth you don't have to have compatibility you don't have to have a bluetooth 5 a bluetooth 4.0 enabled device it fits on any finger because it has a clasp that goes like that so even if you wanted to put it on your thumb it'll just expand and fit on your thumb fit on your pinky fit anywhere it looks great it performs well it comes with a really cool little cradle like that I absolutely love it I have no problems with this whatsoever we were a little bit skeptical when we saw the Sukuyu back in the day but evidently other companies have emulated this and employed their own workings on e-paper devices this is everything that you need to see in the box and know about the Adzerd.